Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Technicational. My name is Peyton Wilmot and today we'll be looking at this guy right here, the J6 Plus from Samsung. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but it seems like the mid-range of phones these days are getting better. So good that you get more things with mid-range than you would get with a high-end phone. Huh. So, a lot of people these days just forego getting those thousand US or them hundred thousand Jamaican phones and just go with these phones, the mid-range phones. And before I'm going to go any further, you can get this phone out here from the Samsung Experience Store in the Tropical Plaza. And believe me, I'll leave the price for later because it's unbelievable for the specs and what it can do. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. So the first thing we're going to talk about is specs and build quality. Now let's start with quality now you have a gorilla glass display at the front but you also have gorilla glass at the back as well so this thing is a fingerprint magnet and if you don't mind sharp holding it in your hand using it you probably accidentally just slide out of your hand and if, since it's all glass you know murder she wrote but the good thing is that in the box you actually get a case for free which I've not seen with a high-end phone yet. Not seen. Take note. Also, the screen size on this is pretty nice. It is a 5.5 inch full HD AMOLED display. Yeah, and a mid-range phone. You also have a 16 megapixel camera at the front. You have a flash at the front as well. You notice you don't have any buttons down at the bottom because the power button is on the side that doubles as a fingerprint scanner yeah not a fan of that but i'll talk more about that later you have the volume rocker on the left up and down you have nothing at the top you have your sim and sd card slots on the side the left side down here and you have a headphone jack and a micro usb port no USB type C on this phone. On the right side, it's only the fingerprint scanner that doubles as the power button, which again, I say not a fan of, but soon tell you more about that. On the back of the phone, you have a flash and you have a dual camera set up. Now, one of these cameras is five megapixel and the next one is 13 megapixel. Um, don't worry about this the megapixel count because to be honest the higher end phones don't usually pass 12 megapixel because it's not the amount of megapixels you have is actually the quality of the lens and how the, the aperture and a whole lot of science goes into the camera make the camera a good camera not the megapixel count but Samsung know whatever do. so you have a glass at the back glass at the front and for internals you have a four gigs of ram on this phone and you have 32 gigs of storage built in and you also have a non-removable battery boohoo that is 3000 milliamp hour so it's not a small battery by any means but it's not also a big battery compared to the Huawei phones and the Note, but still 3000 milliamp hour with a processor that is an octa core processor easily can give you a day worth of use. So, now let's talk about performance. Now, there is a stigma about a stigma about mid range phones not performing, or them slow, them glitchy, those things are way back in the past mid-range phones these days are budget phones these days are so good that you really rarely can see the difference between a mid-range and a high-end phone when it comes to performance now on the j6 plus i have to say the phone 
functions great. It is by far not a slouch when it comes to gaming or if you're playing multiple things in the background going back and forth and that really helps with the four gigs of ram that this phone has now to be honest there are some times rarely that the game will stutter or the game might show some slowdown but i think that is due to the amount of apps that i have that run in the background at the same time but apart from that, performance-wise, I have no problem with the J6 Plus. It is quick, it multitasks like a champ, has things running in the background and it, it don't close out a lot of the apps that are in the background and it is just smooth going from app to app. No problem. So let's talk about camera quality. Now, when it comes to camera quality on the J6 Plus, it is mostly good, mostly. The day photos are great, they are sharp, they look colorful, they look like what you'd expect from a mid to high range Samsung phone. Now, when it comes to photos taken in the dark, front or back, I don't know what's going on with the phone, but it it makes the subject look a bit more orange than they're supposed to look. So it's like a uh, orange tint over the pictures when you take them in night. I don't know how to explain it, but it just don't look 100% right. But whether it's the front or the back, it, I, I don't know if there's a software update that's going to fix that but it is obvious when you take it it's just a little bit too orange otherwise day evening whatever apart from night the photos look great front or back uh, especially the front camera the front camera on this thing is sharp pretty sharp so let's talk about battery life now most people want a phone that can last forever just being real but when it comes to the j6 it does a decent job when it comes to battery life now if you're like me who use your phone now and again you don't really live on it for games or stuff like that you can easily squeeze two days out of this phone but if you're a person who on social media a lot are you tweet a lot or you take a whole heap of pictures or you play a whole heap of game as long as you have the screen on time on this phone really up you will get a day use but just not two days so if you pressure it you get a day so you don't have to walk with the charger but if you conserve or put it on you know mid settings or whatever you definitely can get two days out of this phone no problem and if you use a phone for just phone calls alone, look on this. Six days, nine hours, and I'm at 35%. That is what you call good endurance. So normally we'll be going right to final thoughts if you should buy it or not. But there's something I want to explain and point out on the J6 Plus and probably a lot of other Samsung phones are being misused as well. Recently, I saw um, the videos online. You, you have to see the videos, them, uh, how the fingerprint scanner work on the S10. Now, most people are saying you should not hold your fingerprint on it. It make it look slow, where you have to do a tap and let go and it will work. And before I was using this phone, I was like, yo, I really hate this fingerprint scanner at the side because it just slow sometimes it not really you know function right and i was saying i wonder if this is one of those phones that you don't really hold your fingerprint your finger on it for open it and lo and behold it works you just tap tap 
So it seems like people have been using these new fingerprint scanners on Samsung phones wrongly for a while now. So it's simple. You don't tap a hole for unlock the phone. What you do is tap it and it will unlock. Neat. No, I, I still hate the fact that the fingerprint scanner is here and doubles as the power button because if you look closely, it is actually flushed. It's not raised up so you can actually feel it quickly for no say the power button is there. You have to actually know where it is because enough time I press for, forget the fingerprint scanner and me I press the side of the phone thinking say this way there when it actually they up more. So it's not really that easy to find and use quickly. But I guess over time and you know using it over a period of time it will be easy to find and unlocked. But right now, yeah. Yeah, tap unlock. So we're at the section where I give my final thoughts and it's pretty easy to recommend the J6 Plus to anybody who is looking a smartphone and don't want to pay a lot of money. The camera is pretty decent, although it has an issue taking photos at night and it's not a bad issue, it's just that the color is off. You get four gigs of internal RAM, which is good for running anything you want. You get 32 gigs of internal space coupled with a SD card slot. So you have a good amount of space on the phone for a mid -range. You also have front camera that is 60 megapixels that will take sharp selfies and it has a flash at the front. You have the whole new portrait mode where blur out the background while you take photos of a subject. It's built into the phone as well. The battery life is pretty decent and all in all, the J6 Plus is a solid phone for the price. Now, I told you that I would tell you the price at the end and you can actually get this from the Samsung Experience Store in the Tropical Plaza and at the time I'm getting this, believe me or not, um, it was on special for 36 brand new dual sim j6 36 hey i didn't even see that j6 36 anyway yeah so for that price a brand new phone with warranty and you pop off the tag on the wrapper off it not bad compared to like what you will see a note for brand new or what you will see a s10 for brand new God bless how much that is brand new. So thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting the channel and continue to tell your friends and you know subscribe you know click the little subscribe button down there it really helped me out and until next time I'm gonna go and play with this tap who knew why don't never tell people said so they could have just tap the fingerprint scanner oh, anyway Thank you guys, and until next time, peace. Snakes in the grass, you gotta watch where you step. Blood on the leaves, you either kill or be killed. When there's food on the table, you either eat or you starve. And when there's sharks in the water, you either sink or you swim. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there.